Okay, you sport deep divers, and I'm not comparing you to those athletes who seem to relish the challenge of descending hundreds of metres underwater. I mean the type of sport deep divers that have an insatiable knowledge for all information related to sport. Although there is no reason you can't be a sport deep diver and an underwater deep diver as well. This film will quench your thirst for knowledge on the sporting apparel you wear. We wear brands from Asics to Umbro without the faintest idea of what the name means and probably know little about the company. I've got some gems for you related to the biggest sportswear companies on earth. So let's get started with Adidas. The name Adidas is an abbreviation of the name of founder Adolf Adi Dassler. The Dassler family began manufacturing shoes after World War I. At the 1936 Berlin Olympics, the American track and field star Jesse Owens wore shoes that were a gift from Adi Dassler. Adi started the original company with his brother Rudy, who had gone to form Puma, which we will hear more about later. ASICS, an acronym for the Latin expression Amina Sana in Corpore Sano, and this translates to You should pray for a healthy mind in a healthy body. Champion was established in 1919 by the Fame Bloom Brothers as the Knickerbocker Knitting Company. The company soon after signed an agreement with the Michigan Wolverines to produce uniforms for their teams. In the 1930s, the company was renamed Champion Knitting Mills, Incorporated. In 1948, Marcello Danielli founded Diodora. The name was suggested to him by a friend. The word comes from the name given by the Greeks of Byzantium to the Dalmatian town of Zadar, originally called De La Dera, or From Zadar. It was mistakenly copied and translated from Dalmatian to Latin, becoming, along the way, Diodora. Elise was founded by Leonardo Cervadio on the 19th of June 1959 in Perugia, Italy. The name Elise derives from Cervadio's initials, LS, LS Elise. The name and shape of the Area logo originated by combining the letters R and A, which are the initials of Roberto and Annalisa, the children of the chairman and owner of Area Sport, Angelo Gandolfi. Fila is quite straightforward in that Ettore and Gian Severo Fila started their company in 1911 in Biella, Piedmont, in Italy. Hummel, the German word for bumblebee, was chosen as a reference to the way the bulky insect with its short legs and small wings defies gravity to fly. Wearing the Mesmer Brothers pioneering football boots, players too were able to defy convention and so the name stuck. Kappa is the 10th letter of the Greek alphabet. Kappa originally started as a sock company. The Kappa logo is actually a man and a woman, although a lot of people think it's two women. It stands for equality across both genders. Lacoste was founded in 1933. René Lacoste, one of the company's founders, was nicknamed the Crocodile by fans because of his tenacity on the tennis court. Lecoq Sportif was founded in 1882 by Emile Camusset in France. The company first issued items branded with the now famous Rooster trademark in 1948. The company's name and trademark was derived from the Gallic Rooster, which is the national symbol of France. Li Ning is the Chinese leader in athletic apparel and footwear. Li Ning founded the company in 1990 with the simple goal of providing Chinese athletes with a national brand to wear on the world stage of the Olympics, which was historically one of the West's rare portals into authentic Chinese culture. In 1984, Li won three gold medals, two silver and one bronze to become the most honoured athlete at the Summer Olympic Games hosted by Los Angeles. I researched this a couple of times to be sure, but Lulamon founder Chip Wilson reportedly said he chose the name because it was funny to watch Japanese people try to say it. It's as if the history of Macron has been deliberately deleted. I looked quite hard for the reason behind the name and the logo, but came up with little more than Macron was founded in 1971 as a distributor of American sportswear brands in Italy, who eventually started producing their own sportswear and sponsoring sports teams soon after. Mizuno was founded in 1906 by the Mizuno brothers. It is believed that William J. Riley came up with the name New Balance in 1906 by observing chickens in his yard. He would demonstrate the way his arch supports worked by keeping a chicken foot on his office desk. He explained to customers that the chicken's three-pronged foot 
resulted in perfect balance. Nike was founded on January the 25th, 1964 as Blue Ribbon Sports by Bill Bowerman and Phil Knight and officially became Nike Incorporated on May the 30th, 1971. The company takes its name from Nike, the Greek goddess of victory. Oakley was started by James Janart in 1975 in his garage with an initial investment of just $300. The name Oakley came from the name of Jim's dog, an English setter named Oakley Ann. When Rudolf Dazzler founded his own shoe manufacturing company in 1948, after the split with his brother Addy, he first named it Ruda, a combination of the first two letters of his first and last name. He didn't like the name and instead picked the name Puma. The original logo had the cat jumping through the capital letter D, but the logo later evolved into the Puma we know today. In 1958, Joe and Jeff Foster formed a company called Reebok in Bolton, having found the name in a South African dictionary that was won in a running race by Joe Foster as a boy. The name is Afrikaans for a grey Reebok, a type of African antelope. The South African rugby team are known as the Springboks. Reeboks, Springboks, Bontibocks, they're all from the same family. On March the 3rd, 1902, Russell Athletic was founded by 26-year-old Benjamin Russell as the Russell Manufacturing Company in Alexander City, Alabama. The Salomon Group is a French sports equipment manufacturing company based in Annecy. It was founded in 1947 by Francois Salomon in the heart of the French Alps and is a major brand in outdoor sports equipment. Slazinger was founded in 1881 by a pair of brothers, Ralph and Albert Slazinger. In 1881, Ralph Slazinger left his native Manchester and opened a shop on London's Cannon Street, selling rubber sporting goods. Slazinger quickly became a leading manufacturer of sporting equipment for golf and tennis. People sometimes say that Slazinger copied Puma's logo, but Slazinger started over 60 years before Puma. The Uhl Sports Company was founded in 1948 by Carl Uhl. It was originally established as Haas and Uhl OHG, but later renamed in 1994 to the company we know today, Uhl Sport. Umbro was founded in Manchester in 1920. They changed their name in 1924 from Humphrey Brothers to Umbro. That's the Um from Humphrey and the Bro from Brother. When the company Under Armour was first starting, Kevin Plank mentioned the idea of calling it body armour. His brother Bill misheard him and thought he said under armour. The name stuck, of course, with the British spelling being used in order to get the phone number Plank wanted. Wilson's history starts in 1913, when the Ashland Manufacturing Company used animal byproducts from its slaughterhouses to make tennis racket strings and violin strings, but soon expanded into baseball shoes and tennis rackets. In 1915, Thomas E. Wilson was appointed president by the controlling banks and the company was renamed the Thomas E. Wilson Company. In 1946, just after the end of World War II, Yonex marked its beginnings as Yoniyama Company Limited, founded by Minoru Yoniyama, as the producer of wooden floats for fishing nets. The once thriving business failed because of lack of R&D. Being frustrated by being pushed aside by advancing technology, he vowed never to be technologically left behind and committed to constant innovation in future endeavours. In 1957, he started to make badminton rackets. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it as interesting as I have done in the researching and making of it. I have many other similar films for you on my channel, all related somehow to sport. So head across there and check them out. As ever, I would really appreciate the thumbs up and the subscription if you haven't already subscribed. And please spread the word to anyone you know about my films. Finally, you might be stuck for ideas on what to buy someone for a present. Interested in sport is the five-star rated book with thousands of the best sports facts and jokes. Who wouldn't want that for a birthday or Christmas present?